Today I'm going to show you how to make sloe gin. A sloe is the fruit of the blackthorn bush, which is a common hedgerow plant. Sloes can be picked from early autumn through to the start of winter and it says that they are better after the first frosts, but I'm always keen to get a batch on the go as early as I can so that it is ready to drink by Christmas. Pick the freshest and juiciest berries you can find and avoid any at dog pee and height. Discard any bruised or manky looking fruit and pick out any twiggy bits and then wash the berries and put them in the freezer overnight so that the skin split open. Slow gin is really easy to make. All you need is three simple ingredients and an airtight jar. We've got a litre jar here and we've got our 250 grams of our defrosted slows and 125 grams of caster sugar. You want a two to one ratio of slows to sugar, so if you've got a bigger jar, that's not a problem. And most importantly, we've got our gin. So you wanna pop your slows into the jar. And then you wanna add in your sugar. And then top up with your gin. You want to fill it up and probably leave about half an inch, an inch from the top. Maybe a bit more. Whatever you've got is fine. And then seal it to the jar and give it a little bit of a shake to start the sugar dissolving. store it in a cool dark place now for at least two to three months to really let the flavours develop and try and resist the temptation to drink it all before then. So this is one from last year's batch which we're going to bottle up now. Use a funnel and strain the gin through a muslin cloth or coffee filter into a sterilised bottle. And now it's ready for drinking! <laughs>